Traveling the world is far too expensive, so what if I brought the world to me? I'm going to recreate every biome on Earth. Now building the biomes is the easy part. Adding in the animals is a lot more complicated. There are 12 biomes I need to create, and I'm going to start with the desert. I'll need dirt, sand, rock, and a bunch of cacti. Ow! Oof. Maybe I should get gloves. So the desert was the easiest biome to build. I have the perfect animal for this setup. His bite is said to be more painful than a bullet. Than a bullet. Then a bullet. Then a bullet. Then a bullet. Then a bullet. You know what? I'd rather save him for later. How about something more friendly? Meet Mo, Larry, and Curly. And they're all playing dead. These are blue death feigning beetles. And they should wake back up in three, two, one. There you go. These guys are completely harmless, unlike many of the animals to come. So with the desert complete, let's move on to the grassland. Thankfully, there are no cacti this time. And the grassland is complete. Now it's time for some audience participation. What insect will live here? Is it A, a jumping spider, B, an orchid mantis, or C, my mother-in-law? Well, a spider isn't an insect, and my mother-in-law wouldn't fit, so the correct answer is B, an orchid mantis. She is dangerously beautiful. Her legs are shaped like flower petals, and her claws are covered in razor-sharp spines. Let's give this ambush predator something to hunt. Now that she is eating, I am ready to move on to the arid shrubland. I am going to need quite a bit of rock. Many of them are way too big, which is why I have one more trick up my sleeve. This is much better. Time for a dramatic montage. <laughs> oh my god, I think I just got sand in my eye. Oh. It is the ideal climate for a red knee tarantula. She can fire toxic hairs into your eyes and lungs. Now to move her into the tank, I was going to need a pair of gloves. But that didn't stop me. I gently lowered her into her new home where she can live for over 30 years. With that biome done, it is time to move on to the next two biomes. The ocean and lake. And I have a feeling the lake will be a lot more difficult. Most importantly, I added a tiny filter in each aquarium. The only thing left to do is add in the animals. I put a few tiny cherry shrimp into the lake and then added some hermit crabs into the ocean. With the lake and ocean complete, I am ready to move on to the swamp. The most important part of this build is moss. Wait, that's all I have left? <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to travel deep into the unknown. Alright, that should be more than enough. So with the power of editing, the build is complete. It is the perfect home for a Pac-Man frog. As long as he doesn't jump off my hand, he should be fine. So let's move on, shall we, to the savannah. For this build, I really want to recreate this photo. Oh, I meant this one. I'll need to find some tall grass. That's a pretty good haul, and with the clap of my hands... Wait, what? 
There we go. The only thing that was missing is the zebra. So I got the next best thing, a zebra isopod and his extended family. Oh, they're going everywhere. Time to add them in. I finished all the easy animals, but now we can move on to the more dangerous ones. So I'll start by building the forest, which will be home to Cupcake. Oh no. I have no idea how this thing is even legal. Wait, is it dead? Oh, she's definitely not dead. All right, um, I probably should have built your tank first. Don't go anywhere. It looks perfect. Unlike... I'm going to try to pick her up. Now you might think this is a bad idea. And so do I. She uses two powerful claws to crush her prey and a stinger to finish them off. But in the dark, she reveals her unique ability to glow. Come to think of it, she's way too big for this tank. So I got her baby instead. Welcome to your own little world, buddy. And with his home complete, I am ready to move on to the Mesa. The animals living here will be the most dangerous so far. Not too shabby. This will be home to the cow killer. She has the fourth most painful sting in the animal kingdom. The venom is so strong, it is said that it could kill a cow. And I have five of them. Using these tweezers, I have to carefully move them very slow, and slow, and slow, and... Oh no. Um, okay, deep breath. Um, let's just move you. <sighs> okay, that was easy. With everyone safe and sound, I'm ready to move on to the mountain. I'm going to keep this build short. What? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How in the world did that get there? Okay, one last try. This deep terrain is the perfect home for a pink toad tarantula. Do not underestimate her size because she has a superpower. This entire time, she has been walking upside down. Her movement is slow and graceful. <sighs> or not. How about you just make yourself at home? In the meantime, I can move on to the most dangerous build of them all. The jungle. Which is the perfect home for a giant centipede. I have to work quickly because he will not stop, stop, trying to escape. Building the enclosure is the easy part. It is the next step that I'm so worried about. To move him, I am going to need a lot more than a pair of gloves. Does this make me look fat? He is extremely aggressive, but what if I use that to my advantage? Here is a cockroach, and maybe if he will just grab on... There we go, all right. Um, let's just gently lift you into there. Amazing, I'm never doing that again. So with the jungle finished, I have now completed every single biome, except for one, the most difficult of them all. The Arctic. Okay, and with that, the Arctic is complete. I'll see you in the next one.